The Silicon Power US70 1TB is one of the first PCIe 4.0 consumer-grade SSDs available on the market. The US70 model is available in just two storage capacities, 1TB which is featured in this review and 2TB. This SSD also uses the standard 2280 form factor which means that the SSD has a length of 80mm and a width of 22 millimeters. The Silicon Power US70 1TB is available for purchase for around 150 US dollars or euros at the time of this review. However, I have seen the price of this particular SSD ranging from 147 to 151 US dollars, so your mileage may vary in terms of the pricing, especially with current stock status. This SSD is pretty much one of, if not the cheapest, 1TB PCIe 4.0 consumer grade SSD available right now. And that's one of the main advantages of this drive, when other models from Samsung or Corsair are priced at around or over 200 US dollars. The silicon power US70 1TB is delivered in a standard size package made from cardboard with a nice plastic window to showcase the SSD inside. The protection offered by the package is quite good since the SSD itself is held in place and protected by a hard plastic made shell. Keep in mind that a normal M.2 SSD does not require that much protection than this, as this SSD and many others have a weight of just under 10 grams. This particular one is around 8 grams. The design of this SSD is nothing special as the PCB uses the classic blue color while the label has a glossy texture with an abstract design serving as its background. Also keep in mind that this label is not made out of paper and should not be removed at all as it serves as a warranty sticker for the SSD. In addition, some say that these synthetic labels actually act as a small heatsink for the chips, but that remains to be seen in future reviews. The memory chips used on the US 71TB are Toshiba's BICS4 96 layer 3D TLC NAND flash chips. These are placed on both sides of the SSD and the US 71TB model uses a total of 4 memory chips, each with a capacity of 256GB which totals at around 1000GB or 1TB. The control used on this SSD is made by Fison and it is the PS5016-E16 model. This particular controller is a PCIe Gen 4 x 4 controller and uses a dual-core ARM Cortex-R5 processor. Also, this small chip located right next to the controller, well, that is in fact a voltage regulator module, or VRM for short, which means that the PS5016-E16 controller has its very own VRM system for the power regulation. The Silicon Power US70 1TB also has two SK Hynix 512MB DDR4 2400MHz RAM chips acting as a cache for the drive, with a total amount of 1GB of cache available. The installation of the drive is very simple and I am using footage from a different SSD review because, well, it's just that good. But the procedure is identical for all M.2 SSDs. You first install the SSD into the M.2 socket of the motherboard at an angle, then press on the back side of the SSD lining up the notch of the SSD with the standoff of the motherboard. Then you tighten the mounting screw until the SSD is secured in place and you're done. Please keep in mind that you do not need to tighten the screw that much because, well, the SSD is very light. Now, before we head into the testing of the SSD, you have to keep in mind one thing, that at this moment in time only certain platforms can accommodate PCIe 4 SSDs, mostly AMD and mostly AMD and the Threadripple platform. This means that if you are on Intel, like how I am right now, you will not get the maximum speed that the SSD can offer. However, that shouldn't pose an issue in your daily usage of the SSD. And speaking of daily usage, we start our testing with a basic copying of files from one folder on the SSD to another folder on the same SSD. The total combined files copied is around 100 gigabytes. And as you can see, the SSD maintains a steady speed of 1.56 gigabytes per second. During the file copying test, there were no dips into the speed of the drive until the process was finished, so no issues with the cache here. The next test is using the Crystal Disk Mark benchmark, which is the go-to benchmark for all storage devices, as it offers a good measurement for both speed numbers and speed consistency. And in this test, the Silicon Power US 71TB reached a maximum speed of 3446 MB for the reads and 3316 MB for the writes, a value which places this SSD around the top of the chart in this benchmark. 
The next test features the Atto Disk Benchmark which provides even more measurements for the speed of the tested drives. And in this test, the silicon power US 71TB is very close in performance with the well-known Samsung 970 EVO and in some tests it is actually faster. In fact, the silicon power US 71TB would be even faster if the tested platform had PCIe 4 available. So in this case, the SSD itself is limited by the system. And finally, we have the game level loading test, which uses the shadow of the Tomb Raider video game. The game itself is running at 1080p and in DirectX 12 mode, with all the graphical settings turned up to their maximum speeds. And with this game, we measure the performance of each SSD by timing the time required for the RAM to load a level in the video game. And in this test, the US 71TB required around 20.2 seconds to completely load the game level, which places the SSD next to modules such as the Crucial P5 or the before-mentioned Samsung 970 EVO. And what about the temperature? Well, for many M.2 SSDs, that is a problem. However, the US 71TB only reached a maximum temperature of 68 degrees Celsius, with the ambient temperature set at 26 degrees Celsius. This temperature is the peak temperature value of the SSD, and it was reached when the SSD was running a synthetic benchmark, so quite good. The silicon power US 71TB is a good SSD and it is one of the first models to use the PCIe 4.0 standard for NVMe SSDs. The 1TB variant of this SSD is available for around 150 US dollars or euros at the time of this review. The performance is quite good, great actually. However, it would be better if the SSD would be installed in a system that has PCIe 4.0. Today, only a handful of systems are capable of that, which is mostly the high-end Threadripper platforms from AMD. What does that mean, however? Well, if you do have this SSD and an Intel system, for example, it means that the SSD will not deliver its best performance, but you will get most of it. The silicon power US 71TB is also backed by a 5-year warranty and has an endurance rating of 1800TB written. Also, one thing to note is that this speed limiting factor of the PCIe 3 is not going to be noticed in gaming and especially in your daily usage. In fact, such high speeds will only be useful in particular workloads and programs. If you like this review, then you can perhaps consider subscribing for more. And also, if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below, you can find both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages.